thanks to Atom Dots, we have the domestically made M79 and C14 here. I was interested in these as soon as I saw them on Amazon a while back. Both of these are Indian domestically made products. On our Discord, we have been interested in seeing how these fare. By the way, join our Discord, link in description. The first one, the C14, it comes in 1 gram and 2 gram flavors. I've seen it go for as low as 393 rupees on Amazon for the 2 gram and 267 for the 1 gram. The M79. <laughs> This thing I've seen go for as low as 890 rupees on Amazon. That doesn't sound that incredible, but when you realize it's up against the Thermal Frizzly Conductor Knot, which costs 1650, it really puts it into perspective the cost advantage of these domestic products. So let's unpack the C14. It has these indentations or tabs, I guess, to open the pack, which is resaleable by the way, it even says on the package. Uh, for some reason they give you a lapping kit, I'm not sure why, but it is nice to have if you're interested in doing it, and a sticker and a spreader. I guess it's also called a spatula by some other YouTubers. You get these nice alcohol wipes, which I think are semiconductor grade, I don't know what makes them semiconductor grade. <laughs> And of course the tube of thermal paste. This is the 2 gram pack. I forgot to record the 1 gram one, but it's only the tube and uh, spatula or spreader. You get more of these alcohol wipes. I believe you get 3 or 4 of those. And a nice little thank you card. And now for the M79, also the main attraction. It has the same outer packaging, resealable, as the C14. Once we do get it open though, we get the lapping kit, which is the same as the C14 but also contains the M79 liquid metal within, alongside the cotton swabs which you will need to apply the thermal paste. You also get the needle tip for dispensing the liquid metal and the sticker. You also get the alcohol wipes, semiconductor grade, not sure what that means still. You get about 3 or 4 of them and the thank you note. Now for the testing. The pastes were tested in a system built in an Corsair 4000D airflow case, 3 Arctic P12 on the front and an EVGA CLC240 AIO made by Acetec on the top. The AIO also had its fans replaced with 2 Arctic P12s in a push configuration. The CPU tested was the i7-12700K with a 4.8GHz core clock and a negative 80mV offset undervolt. The load used was OCCT for 12 minutes, data set small, mode normal, load type variable, start at cycle 1, instruction set auto, thread settings at auto. Now the results. I think they speak for themselves honestly. The C14 is an exceptional value thermal paste, getting close to the cry of use. But this is just the CPU, and the M79 is the leader, as expected and the CPU has not even been deleted yet. Well, I'm not gonna delete my CPU, but I think I can do something else. This is a Vega 64, specifically the Nitro from Sapphire. It sat unopened for like uh, five-ish years now. The thermal paste seems to be having issues now as the hotspot or junction temperature is going to a delta of 20 degrees plus. But let's see if the M79 can do anything about that. Testing with Ace Combat 7, these benchmarks say everything you need to know. The M79 destroys the older thermal paste. The reductions on the junction temperature are pretty massive. I was expecting a bit better on the edge and junction, but it's probably my extreme novice application of the liquid metal preventing it from doing better.
In conclusion, I think if you're an enthusiast and have a cooler whose contact surface is either copper or nickel plated copper, the M79 is a must buy if you're seeking performance. The C14 on the other hand is a huge recommendation for everyone else looking for an affordable yet performant and reliable thermal paste. These products get our seal of approval. If you want to buy these, we have the link below. It is non-affiliate, we stand to gain nothing. If you want to support us, like, share, subscribe and join our Discord server. It has people from all corners and niches of the PC hardware community in India.